Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, guys. Celtagorband here, and thanks for tuning in to another episode in my Total War Rome 2 Empire Divided campaign as the Caledoni. And it's been a little while since we last played this again. Um, I ended up uploading the second episode of my 1295 campaign in the slot that I would have uploaded the Caledoni campaign on Tuesday, I believe. And then Thursday I was completely busy with editing the new epic battle that I put up on the channel. So I'm really trying to, to keep up on this Caledonia campaign. Uh, but in the last episode I think we were actually going to push forwards and go after Octoduras over here in the uh, Alps. You can see that Korea has already fallen to the Alemanni tribe over here. And uh, they're becoming quite a power. I was looking at them before... Uh, before the episode, and they've only got two regions, but they have managed to push the German Confederation down to uh, only a few settlements. Uh, the Saxons are quite strong, though, so I would actually like to get some kind of treaty with them, so I'm actually considering going to war against the German Confederation, if only that would increase my... Oh my goodness, look at all that... Uh... All the scrambly letters. Yeah, I don't really know why that is. It, it happens from time to time. I can't really tell you exactly why that happens. But uh, if maybe to develop better relations with the Saxons if I went to war against the German Confederation. Because it looks like the Gothi tribe and Gallic Rome have together pretty much taken all of their former territories that they had conquered initially. So I think we actually might do that now. You have to Just declare war, call the allies for help, join by both, excellent. And then next turn, we should start to see that the Saxons are getting a little bit more friendly with us. And I do not want to go to war with the Saxons. They look very, very strong. And I was also looking over here, and uh, this Hispania Citerior faction is actually a major power. They are they're actually uh, much stronger than I am if we take a look at their... They've got almost all of Northern Africa and I'd say the better parts of two-thirds of the Iberian Peninsula. Uh, Lusitani, not as strong though. We probably could take them over quite easily, but I'm actually kind of considering maybe just going and finishing off Gallic Rome at least in the Italian boot and then coming back to take them out. I'm not exactly sure what direction I'm going to take with that, but... Uh, you guys can let me know in the comments. Regardless, though, we're going to be t trying to take these two settlements this turn. Uh, Massalia over here and also Octodorus. So that is the goal. And uh, also, I got a comment saying that we sh I should uh, send an army all the way around through the Mediterranean and then attack the Sassanids. And I'm not sure if I'm going to go to war with the Sassanids just yet, but this army, uh, I have decided with the Seahorse Clan, I'm going to kind of take your advice, and uh, we're just going to go and raid and loot all of these coastal settlements here in the Iberian Peninsula. You can see that there are quite a few. We've got uh, Gades here, Tingis, uh, Nova, Carthago. We can probably take this little island settlement here. Like a lot of their, a lot of their settlements are actually... Uh, on the coast, so we'll definitely look at trying to utilize that army there. So they're headed down. So I think there's not much else we can do except I'm going to start another army. And the only problem is is that they're all seahorse clans, so I guess I'm just going to have to deal with that for now. And... I'm trying to think of what I'm going to want here. Probably the Osworn. Like, chariots are good, but... It's not sure if they're going to really be that effective. So, yeah, we'll go we'll go for the Osworn there. And let's once again... Oh, actually, I'm out of money this turn. Alright, fair enough. Well, what can I throw in here? Celtic horse will get one of them going. And end the turn. And Gallic Rome does have quite a few armies that they are bringing forward, so that's going to 
kind of slow our advance a little bit. I'm kind of hoping that they're going to withdraw from Massalia, though, because they just plopped a full stack down into Massalia, which is uh, probably going to need two full stacks to take that settlement now. And I'm going to have to be ever watchful of this Hispania Citerior faction. I did not know they were that strong. Alright, we got some military subversion. Oh, they took it. Okay, then. So I guess I'll just bring this army down to Massalia, then. Although I've got this army here, and I have this army there. So actually, I'm going to leave this army for now. Uh, let's just withdraw them to... Or actually, they can't even move, so we'll just leave them there for now. And over at Camladonum. Let's begin getting the forces that we need. Can go ahead and upgrade the general's bodyguard there. And maybe I will actually get these surface mines going. Will give me a little bit more from industry. Could upgrade these towns as well. Would actually give me more wealth, so I'll go ahead and throw some money into there. And this army. This, uh, are they in double time as well? Wow, so yeah, it's going to take us a little while to actually get down here. Wondering if it uh, actually might be faster. No, not really. It's pretty much the same, so we'll just let them do what they're doing. And it looks like we're actually going to have a rebellion here soon. For the tribe. And that would happen at Birdzagala over here. So I'll bring this army over. Because we're probably going to have to deal with a rebellion. The Vesalia. 563. We've got 8 and 2. Plus an entire 20 stack, which I'd really like to see what's there. So let's bring my druid down to take a look. So yeah, the German Confederation has those three settlements left. How do the Saxons like us now? They must... They must be happy with us, I'd imagine. Greetings! Speak plainly and without... Oh, come on. The man is judged by his friends. This is not the time for such an agreement. Now non-aggression is low. Really. Oh, man. These Saxons are kind of... Kind of driving me a little bit up the wall. Like, what was the point on me going against the German Confederation if they don't actually want any treaties, but... Anyways... So yeah, we're gonna have to go up against Vesalia pretty soon here. Ooh, Britain Ballista. Let's disband these guys here. And get two of those ballistas. That's going to be great. And they should be movable, I think. Yeah, looks like they are movable, which is excellent. So that's actually going to help us against uh, the walls at Massali as well. Good, good, good. Oh, man. You you are driving me nuts. Driving me nuts, Saxons. Okay, and I guess we'll just end the turn again. Oh, the Alemanni are being pushed back. Okay. So they're actually probably going to lose 
uh, Korea there. Oh my goodness, yeah, they're they're definitely gonna lose that. So Gallagrome is not out yet. It must the Italian peninsula must just be a cash cow. A lot of their settlements must be making a lot of money for them to be able to support that many armies. <laughs> there go the Franks. Looks like the Lusitani are actually taking some attrition as well, so that's always good. Oh, and the German Confederation are cut as well, so... Okay, a riot has started in your capital. You suspect that it has been instigated by one of the other political parties. How do you react? Let's just crush the riot. Okay, so yeah, this army is probably going to have to come over here and help out. Because the Alemanni are actually going to probably get destroyed at this point. So I'll just move all the way over here. I'm not sure if I'll be in range of that settlement or not. But we shall find out. And this is my king, so yeah, I can't really lose the king at Ready this point. This is 95 with minus 5 per turn, so... Wondering what's going to happen there. 48 minus 8, or 48 minus 4. Let's get you guys down here, start inciting some unrest. I could do. Sixty six per cent to wound their general. Sometimes the mother had. Yeah, nice. This success to my ancestors. Increase in rank for my druid as well. So yeah, they've got 19. It's 27, 29. So it's about a 30 stack. Let's go for the sacred springs there. A merry meeting. How can I help? Okay, well, I kind of want to bring this army down here. So I guess we'll see what happens. If there's a rebellion force there, we may have to push back up to get rid of it. But um, let's figure out what I want to do here. Because it's a 19. Mm. Let's get rid of one of the archers, actually. And next turn, we'll get a couple of ballistas in that army as well. So we'll actually have four. Which is good. And this, this army is going to take, <laughs> take a while to get down, down to there. A couple more turns. All right, let's see what happens here. Oh, hold on. Uh, forgot my druid... Got a skill upgrade here. Okay, so assassination can get some more there. Minus six upkeep cost. That's actually pretty handy. Corruption. Just do 15% uh, or er, critical success there. Oh. 
Okay, so they've taken Octodurus, so that's a bit of a problem. Because now Argente Torum is open to attack. I might actually lose my ally here. And he's going to go ahead and block me, which is super annoying. Oh, they pulled their army away from Isalia. Oh, you foolish, foolish Romans. The Alemanni are desperately trying to hold on to their territories, but I think I'm going to have to pull back here. Rebellion, Quintus Viterix is wounded, so now I've got to drop... I guess I'll have to drop this guy in. Ready for battle. Right in the capital. All other parties are impressed by your display of power. So does that give me even more, or...? Not really. Okay, three, four, five, six. Okay, so now we've got this guy in here. No cavalry in this army, though, which is a bit of a problem. Okay, how far can they move in the mountains this turn? A decent amount. Latin rebels. Oh, so they're way up over here. Okay. Uh, so let's force march up to Limonum to get rid of them. And... Over here. It's not really going to serve a purpose for us, so... I guess I'll... Oh, okay. okay, well... Go up there and cause some... Subversion. But with this army here, we're going to push on and take out Massalia. And, yeah. It's, it's going to be a very easy battle, but we haven't had a siege in a while. And we've got some ballista and some ladders... So, uh, I'll see you guys on the battle map. Yeah! Onward for the glory of our ancestors! Okay, so I've got my army set up uh, along this outer wall of Massalia, and it's actually a lot smaller of a city than I thought it was. Uh, evidently, they haven't really upgraded it too much, but I'm going to start with my ballistas and bringing down these towers. And I think that they should do a decent amount of damage towards them. Ballistas are usually pretty accurate as well, so... That is great. Watch this, I say they're accurate and then it's gonna miss all four shots, but... One shot hitting, okay. Well, that's a huge help. Well, percent. So we'll go ahead and uh, fast forward here. Uh, not not a lot of ammo for these ballistas as well. Interestingly enough. Actually, yeah, we're actually not even going to be able to bring down one tower. Ninety percent. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Oh wow, that's pretty hilarious. Okay, uh, you guys stop. I don't need you. What is this? At forty-five percent. Yeah, we're probably not going to be able to take down that tower, which is a little bit annoying. 
but what can you do? So let's start to get our men up on the walls. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Um, let's just get that one there, and let's get that one there. Yeah, so they used up all their ammunition. So note to self, uh, pretty useless to attack towers with Ballista. I thought they would have done a little bit better than that. Let's bring my archers forwards. The rest of my sword band, we can move them into range. And the cavalry, they're kind of just going to have to sit here. I don't really think that I'm going to be able to do too much with them. But they've got most of their forces on the walls, looks like. They're just running around. Got a few light Roman skirmishers here. Got some spear warriors. Should have probably fired for the men on the walls with the ballista. I think that would be have been a better tactic. But yeah, I'm going to completely ignore these guys. I'm just going to focus on this one section. go in against them here with our archers. Britons. There we go. The towers are beginning to fire. Our hidden units have been discovered. I guess they are just medium field artillery, so maybe if there's some heavier, like the Onagers would have more more ammo or something, but... Focus these skirmishers that are running around here. Whoops. They can have the potential to do quite a bit of damage. In fact, I'm probably going to lose a few units here. Just trying to get up on these walls. But we're starting to scale them. Got the spear warriors running around here. Wonder how the sword band will do against them. Charge men onto the walls. All right, all right. Where's my other unit of Highland archers? Oh, they're back here, I see. Alright, we got our painted warriors over here as well. Let's go ahead and start to push our sword band up. Oh, come on, Highland Archers. There we go. Let's get our painted warriors over here. Without the ballista, please. And this sword band unit in reserve as well. And just flooding the walls which is with as many men as I can get up here. There you go. Get some kills, sword band. A little nervous about the archer fire, though. I should probably stop that. Just go for these guys over here. Let's get these painted ones up the ladder. That's going to be able to help us to overpower them for sure. Senior man, 
skirmishers actually have a pretty decent uh, decent position here, kind of hiding uh, in behind the tower. And a lot of my arrows are actually missing as well. Uh, let's go right into the battle here. There we go. Whoops. I think these are my painted warriors now coming up the ladder. Yes, they are. Come on, slaughter them. Oh no, I'm seeing some of my men die in there. Come on, these guys are nothing to you. They were treating. Oh, this that guy's surrounded now. Okay, yeah, so one of my units of sword band is getting pretty banged up over here, actually, because I'm just allowing them to be shot while I'm getting some good end zooms for you guys. Let's pull back my Highland archers. I don't really need them anymore. They're actually going up the walls, which is definitely not what I told them to do, but... Let's get a couple of our units off the walls here. Yeah, let's let's uh, capture this tower if we can, please. And they have a couple units left in the town center to deal with, but that shouldn't be really that hard. Probably not even going to worry about capturing the gates at this point. I think we're just going to go right for the center. Yes, get get yourselves off the walls, Highland Archers. I did not want you to go down there. We have captured a tower. Beautiful. And yeah, we're just gonna just mob these vigilates. We can actually fast forward here till we can get some of our men into range or into a battle, rather. But they are gonna probably get into range of that tower, but can actually probably send my unit of painted warriors to capture. Actually, no, I don't even want to do that because they're just going to be. Uh, shot to pieces there, so. Just tell everyone to get into the center here. All the men's. Let's see, like, the column. Column of my men charging past. These Roman ruins. The city is ours. But it's a good thing that they pulled back that other army because I 100% would have needed two armies to deal with that. Go, 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 go! Oh, there's the general as well. Gonna have to go in with against my sword band. Gallic legionaries, man. They're going to need some help for sure. Kind of wanted to see if I could just push right past. It's not like Attila where you lose tons of men from just pushing through like that. Let's get in behind these uh, legionaries here. Leave the painted ones to deal with the vigilates.
And there come the victorious Gallic Warriors. Yes, nice peel of throws into the backs. And that's pretty much going to be the end of the general. Okay, so taking a fair few losses, 351. Uh, they got 265 kills, so I actually got a decent amount of friendly fire with my Highland Archers. But we will occupy that settlement. For the tribe. And I think that after the conquest next turn, it should be... Oh no, how much is that going to cost to dismantle the grand? Yeah, let's just get rid of that. I don't even know what this building is here. Let's get rid of that. And everything is too expensive to convert otherwise, so... Oh my goodness, where did they come from? Uh-oh, uh-oh, okay. That's not very good. So that's where they went. Ah. Okay, so they actually may come to Bibracti over here. So I'm going to have to probably raise an army here, which is not ideal. So I can have an extra general there. Now, next turn... I don't think they'll be able to attack next turn. I live to serve the people ready for orders. Okay. For the tribe. Okay, here we go. So, what do I want to do with this army here? I think I'm just going to force march back to Argentatorum because that will protect against this army over here. And then if I have to, if they're coming to siege me with both of these armies, I can bring the army to Argentatorum, Argentatorum over to that area. But this army is pretty banged up, so it's going to need a bit of replenishment. But shoot, I wish I had moved over to that way because they actually might actually come over to Jergovia. Which does have a, a small garrison, but nothing crazy. And these guys are going to build up next turn as well. Hmm. I might actually have to pull that army off onto the shores just to have an extra army to deal with Gallic Rome. Well, we'll see what happens here. Okay, so they came over there, which isn't too bad. Okay, so the king is ready to command again. Research complete. Martial priorities. As your enemies gain strength, it is important to have a well-balanced military. With that in mind, what would you like to focus on? Infantry for sure. Okay, where is this army in the whole grand scheme of things here? So I could land them there. They're an 8 stack. Let's move them over to Dragovia. Dr uh, and here, let's get 4 sword band. And yeah, they did take Korea back. Which is fine. I guess we'll just kind of sit tight there for now. I would kind of just like to push over here while well 
they're kind of gone and just cause some problems here. Um, I'll just leave that army for now. I really don't care that much about what it's doing. So let's get that. What would he convert that to? Craftsman's house? So we'll get an artisan's lodging. Oh, really? I Okay, well, I'm going to have to get rid of that then. Fishing port there. Okay, not bad. So, what do I want now? Battle would be good. So we got Royal War Horns, which gives charge bonus. So, melee defense skill for all infantry. Yes, let's go for that. And we're really going to have to kind of lock down these territories here because we're going to have some issues with public order. But I think I'm going to leave it there, guys. So we probably will have uh, several big battles in the next episode. So hopefully you are enjoying these parts so far. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you like to see more content like this in the future. And I will see you in the next one.